So here you'll see that we have our keypad. And if we roll it over, you'll see that there are some Phoenix terminal strips on the back. These are removable and they're also labeled for polarity and speaker. We can attach our wires to these simply using a small flathead screwdriver. So let's pull the wires out of the box and see what we're dealing with here. Got a couple of speaker wires. Looks like these are going to some outdoor speakers. This is direct burial rated wire. And here's that Cat 5E. Now, since I only need two conductors of this, I'm going to twist up the connectors and make this into a large two conductor cable. We're gonna to wanna to strip the speaker wires around 3 16ths of an inch. Make sure you twist them tight so there's no stray conductors. And we're gonna do the same thing with our category five cable. Here I took four of the conductors, in this case, the blue and green pairs, tied them all together, and the brown and orange pairs are gonna be my positive. So I'm gonna twist them together, trim them to fit. Making sure they're good and twisted. And we want to make sure that there's not too much copper so there's no uninsulated wire hanging out of the end of the contact strip. It's easy to install the terminals because we can pull them out of the keypad. So make sure we have the polarity correct. This is positive. And then we'll snug down the screw. Nice and tight. So let's install the negative. Again, snugging it down, and we'll want to make sure to remember how we configured the wires in here for back at the power supply so we get everything correct. Let's move on to the speaker wires. Again, these are already trimmed, twisted, about 3 16ths of an inch. Make sure there's no stray conductors, and then we'll put them on the terminal strip. The strip is labeled for both left and right speakers and identifies positive and negative for each. Insert the wires in the hole, snug them down, and that's all there is to it. First speaker, now let's do the second speaker. Now we're ready to plug the keypad in and install it into the wall. First the power supply. And now the speakers. Feed the wires back into the wall and we'll screw it home. uses a standard Decora type faceplate and is available both in white and black. Nice and straight. Screw it in and we're all done. Thanks for watching.